adventure together has brought us from a small late night pizza place in Windsor to a house with a yard and a toddler in London. This adventure is also what brings us here together today, here in Shedden, about to begin writing the next chapter of our story. Through all of these adventures, we have always leaned on one another for support, advice, and even just for a smile at the end of a long day. I have never doubted my love for you. In fact, it has grown stronger each and every day. We make the perfect team together, always balancing each other out, having the perfect thing to say in any situation, and you starting the projects so I can finish them. I, Connor, stand here ready to take you, Cassandra, to be my wife, best friend, and lifelong partner in marriage. As husband and wife, I know we will be able to accomplish anything and overcome any challenges that stand in our way. From this moment on, with you at my side, I promise to always live by these vows I make today. I promise to give you the best future I can and to be the best father I can be to Camden and our future children. I will love you through the hard times and the good times, whether we're rich or poor, healthy or sick, young or old, I pledge to hold these promises dear to my heart for the rest of my life. I love you and I am so excited to finally be able to officially call you my wife. Connor, I can't believe we're finally here. Almost eight years later and I still get butterflies in my stomach. Falling in love with you wasn't like falling at all. It was like walking into a house and knowing you're home. You bring a calmness to the chaos that I never knew I needed until I met you. You are everything I ever wanted in a partner. You're kind, supportive, loving, and bring out the best in the people around you. I love how you always kiss me goodbye every morning, even though I'm still asleep when you leave. I love how you act excited to sit through every Marvel movie with me, <laughs> even though you never have any idea what's going on. I love that you make pepperoni hearts on all our homemade pizzas, the little laugh you make before you smile for photos, and how you constantly remind me not to take life so seriously. And just when I thought I couldn't love you anymore, I got to watch you become a father. I am so excited that I finally get to become your wife. I promise to always be your number one cheerleader. I promise to always care for you, admire you, and work with you. I promise to remember the love I feel for you today for the rest of our lives and to always look back on this moment when times get tough. And of course, I promise to always start projects for you to finish because I know how much you love that. I love you and I can't wait to see where life takes us. Here's to our forever after all. telling you anything you don't already know, but you've really found a good one in Connor. Everybody here knows that Connor is the more handsome of the two of us, the handier with the tools, the more rational, and the less unnecessarily emotional. We're also lucky to know him and Cass, who are the luckiest of all of us, to be able to now call him your husband. Connor, the past 10 years for you and I have been very different to what our first 18 years like for us brothers. Though separated by distance, I know that you're always there for me when I need you, and I'm always there for you. It's one of the things that makes our brotherly bond so special. A life with you as my brother has been one that's never boring, never predictable, and never without a laugh, a thoughtful word, or a kind of smile. Cass, that is the life that I know you will have with this amazing, kind, selfless, and loving man at your side. I wish to both of you so many happy memories for the future in London or wherever life's journey may take both of you. I've had the joy of seeing Connor and Cassie go from hanging out to dating to paying rent in two locations for absolutely no reason, <laughs> from owning a bunny to three bunnies, and to making me a new best friend with their amazing son, Camden. You support each other through career changes and adventures. You constantly push the other to find what will make them happiest in a world that can work so hard to knock someone down. You two aren't together because you found someone with all the same interests and aspirations. You are together because you found your person to inspire, care, love, and cherish. You found your person that will be your partner in your life. Today, I have the privilege of standing by Cassie's side and watching her choose you. I have never felt more confident that she has chosen someone who will love her the way she deserves, and that you have chosen someone who will be your partner and your biggest supporter. I look forward to continuing to be your third wheel 
and to watch you grow not only as parents, but now as husband and wife. I'm also Connor's mom, 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 mom. <laughs> Love is a one-syllable word for most kids, but not our kind, lovable Connor. <laughs> I want to say a few words about how wonderful it is to see Connor and Cassie together, sharing their lives, supporting each other in their shared and different interests. I may have the story not quite right, since I'm often on a need-to-know basis and don't need to know. <laughs> but I remember in the middle of Connor's first year at Windsor, he mentioned that for a second year, he was going to be living in a house with several girls. Little did he or anyone know that through those girls he would meet Cassie, a sorority sister. And as they say, the rest is history. I'm so happy for these two and want to raise a toast to welcome Cassie to the extended Mercier family and to let Cassie and Connor know how much I love them and will support them in their new and continuing life together. I didn't realize he was going to dress like he did, and I, uh, <laughs> very quickly, I just would like to, on behalf of the Cole family and the Dallas family, welcome Cassie to our uh, crew. Uh, it's been a pleasure getting to know you over the last few years, and again, I would like to raise the toast to Cassie and Hey! hey. First of all, thanks everybody for coming. These two wonderful people. But this has been a long time coming. So thanks for coming. Congratulations to you too. In the end, it was worth waiting the extra year as we were able to have some of our loved ones when we see join us today. It would not have been possible last year. Mom, thanks for all the support over the years. You've always been there for me. Whether it's been on the sideline of sporting events, helping me get through school, or just being there for me to bounce ideas off. We appreciate all the hard work you put in trying to find the perfect line for tonight. I know that must have been hard work for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dad and Karen, I've always been appreciate, appreciated how you can give me a new perspective on things and challenge my ideas. Karen, I've always been grateful how you welcomed Kyle and I into your family, allowing me to learn things that I otherwise wouldn't have been exposed to. Mom and Dad, Thank you for showing me what love looks like. Thank you for reminding me to never go to bed angry and always say I love you, even if you're going to see the person in the next five minutes. I would not have been able to do many of my accomplishments without both of your love and encouragement. Keep my boobs, man. Thanks for always being there, being there to support me through everything and for being here, helping out to make today possible. Finally, I appreciate you sticking around the FCU here today. <laughs> Tyler, even though we are like 3,324 kilometers away from here, you've always been close when needed. When we were little, we would, we would not always agree on everything. We would fight. I'd usually win. <laughs> <laughs> so we would always instantly make up and return to what we were doing before like nothing ever happened. Thanks for being here today and letting you do your job once. See you again. <laughs> <laughs> My amazing bridesmaids, I am so thankful you all agreed to be a part of my Sorry, not just one. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I wrote R. <laughs> Thank you for calling me when I was stressed and coming up early to help make sure today was perfect. I'm so lucky to have you all in my life. Kayla, thanks for being the most amazing maid of honor, even though you were in the middle of nowhere for the last few years. If someone would have told me back on that first day of university that you'd be standing beside me on my wedding day, I would have said absolutely not. But I am so thankful you are. And to my amazing husband, thank you for just accepting all the wedding projects I threw at you and really helping my vision come to life. So, uh, grab a glass, grab a glass, let's toast to love, to family, and to happily ever after. Cheers! Yeah.